Hey everybody, Ash here with GenSense. So it's time for another reaction video. This time, I'm going to be reacting to myself. My old videos, it's going to be a cringe fest. It's going to be freaking great. I'll give you some behind the scenes information and just talk about how absolutely god awful these videos are. Alright, so I have my channel pulled up here. So these are my old videos that you can see. Look, old videos. We're going to go ahead and take a look at some of these. Um, this one, let me just go ahead and click into this. So this was my uh, my first video, and I actually made this private. As you can see, 57 views, 2 likes, 1 dislike. Uh, and check out this god-awful thumbnail. It is a, a freaking travesty. This is what happens when you have no idea how the hell to make a, uh, a thumbnail. This is what happens. You can actually see my arm right here. My left arm is actually reaching out to uh, take the picture with the camera on a tripod. So I'm trying to like scoot over to the, the edge and that's just so my arm can reach the camera to take that picture. And um, it's, it's an absolutely trash, terrible thumbnail. You can see here that I just wrote Dior Ohm Intense in the corner and that's absolutely microscopic when you look at a, a thumbnail on YouTube. And then I wrote masterpiece genius genius the question mark uh, is this a masterpiece so you're going to watch the video so I can tell you whether it is or not uh, just absolutely trash all the way around so now that we got that out of the way let's go ahead and watch this travesty hey guys it's me Ashton with Gen Sense, and I'm here with the review today uh, the Orom Intense really doesn't need too much of an introduction it's been out since 2006 <laughs> oh in one way or another um, it gets a lot of hype in the community and has for a long time. Hmm. Um, I will... All right, so this is off to a great start. We're 18 seconds in, and I already have cancer. So if you look at this, uh, the setup, this was at my old house. This was in uh, not really the basement. It was kind of like a split level. It was two levels, but they weren't directly on top of each other. So when I did this, I had no clue where I should shoot this. I didn't have any specific area set up for videos at that point. Uh, this door right here uh, is a bathroom. And then this area behind me, I was like, oh, well, people online on, on videos, they have stuff set up behind them. So I've got to do that. That way it looks cool. So I have uh, three can candles here, which is great. I have this random vase with some feathers. And then back here, I've got some boxes set up. So these are just some random like niche boxes that I had. And I was like, well, I can sit these behind me and maybe it'll look, little, look a little better. I can't speak English. And then, uh, of course, I've got this great, gaudy, frigging uh, gold foil looking t-shirt. And I also have, this is a table, and then a little frigging uh, box set on top of the table because um, I couldn't really figure out how to use my camera very well. It was set up on a tripod, and I had it set to auto, which is why the coloration looks like absolute trash because I didn't know how to set up a camera properly. Uh, also, the audio was trash because I had no microphone. So, honestly, this video is like uh, 0 out of 10. And on the table beneath the, uh, the camera where you can't see it, I have a notepad. And it has bullet points uh, because I shot this all in one take, I'm pretty sure. And if I started to... to forget what I was going to say next. I wanted there to be a bullet point so I could look down and check it and not have to reshoot the whole thing over again because that's how the first few videos I did. I just shot them all at once like a moron. Anyway, back to the video. Oh, and also, uh, my hair. Uh, I get busted on for my hair sometimes. People love to, to play or hate, but it looks... It looks really bad in this one. It's kind of like uh, I didn't check it beforehand. I just swept it to the side, and I have this kind of wispy, uh, almost comb-over look to my hair. So it, it's just a dumpster fire. I'll say that when I first there it is. This, look. I right there. Hated it. Um, but Oof. since then, oh, I didn't do it all in one so take. I had a separate the, uh, presentation part. Uh, right here on the atomizer. Yeah, you can totally uh, see that. You can see that. Mm, you can, yeah. <laughs> Barely. There we go. Oh, um, the atomizers themselves on these Dior own bottles are fantastic. You can control the amount of juice that you want to spray out. <laughs> I love how the camera's in auto, so it keeps spray. going out of focus. They can spray out a lot. Or it's a focusing on the candles. 
They're probably some of the best that I've ever seen. This whole presentation part is you can see those uh, candles the really well. Here, you have all the information on the bottle itself, Eau de Parfum. My you God. got the size and everything, batch code engraved right here. <laughs> uh, it's almost a joke. Itself. The whole frigging presentation, everything is out of focus. What's in focus is the three frigging candles in the background. You do see the uh, Christian Dior symbol. Oh, God. Here. Same one that's on the uh, inside of the cap on the Sauvage bottles. It's and unwatchable. That's pretty much the, the presentation for Durome Intense. Really classy, really nice, uh, thick glass bottle. <laughs> What's funny about that, I still vividly remember when I was shooting that, that I said, like, nice thick bottle at the end as I was, like, walking away. And I remember thinking, God, that was stupid. Why did I do that? But apparently at the time I was like, no, nah, it's cool. We'll roll with it. Really classy, really nice, uh, thick glass bottle. A muted, uh, I had a little bit more of a beard then. The that's about as strong as my beard can possibly get. The, like this, that's that's about probably as strong as my, my beard could ever get. It's pretty pathetic. Uh, beard game on a scale of 1 to 10, 1.5. Um, a story uh, about this, actually. About no stories. No, thank you. I remember when I was shooting this that I was actually really nervous because it feels very strange talking to a camera for the first time because you're sitting in an empty room and then you just have this uh, camera just staring at you. And the entire time you're shooting, you know that you're shooting it with the intention of putting it online for people to see. And it's just very awkward and it can make you feel nervous because... Uh, you know, if you've not done it before, you're like, oh my god, people are going to judge me and it's going to be uh, a potential slam to your self-esteem. So I remember shooting this and feeling very awkward, and that room is really cavernous, so with no microphone, I figured it was going to sound like crap, but I had never done anything like this before, uh, so I just rolled with it. You're not really going to go for this, but if you're someone that's established... Okay, uh, this video, no more. This video is dead to me. But it, what's interesting, you can see it here. This video had, at the time, 57 views. I had probably four subscribers or something. And Jeremy Fragrance was the only comment on this video. Awesome channel name. Keep going. You already have a good structure in your videos. Two years ago. So... This was back when Jeremy actually actively watched and commented on people's uh, videos, like fragrance videos. Nowadays, he doesn't really do that so much. I feel like uh, he probably feels uh, a little burned out from other reviewers and maybe the fragrance community in general outside of the fragrance army. Uh, hashtag. But back in the day, Jeremy Fragrance, the very first comment on my freaking channel believe it or not let's find another video here um just look at how bad these thumbnails are this is this is art these thumbnails how trash they are and the fact that i have never gone back to update them and never will because it's holy piss jimmy Choo has eighteen thousand views what how did that happen and why Holy crap, 18,000 people have watched that video and that's their first introduction to my channel? Oh my god, how terrible. Almost 8,000 on this one? Oh, dude. I should probably make those private. There are people watching those thinking, holy shit, this is a terrible channel. Great. Let's uh, take a look, CP. Jimmy Two Man is the number one video if you search Jimmy Two Man. Jimmy Choo Man. Holy sh... What? Yeah, so th the thumbnail is just obviously the bottle. It's inside of that box that I sit the fragrances on top of in those early videos. And then I just threw some text in the corner again, uh, which is obviously unreadable. Here we go with another trash video. Um, hair, hair on point. Look at this style. This is a very cool design. You'll notice it comes up uh, kind of comes to a point, goes back up, there's a gap, comes down, another point. But this one, a little wider than the one on the left, goes back up again. And then you see this nice kind of bump up there. That's a stylistic choice. All right. Oh, 
and I, I have the fragrance inside the box on this one, and I imagine I will probably reach inside, pull it out, and put it on top. So let's check this out. Hey guys, Ashton back with another scent for you. Today we're gonna take a look at Jimmy Choo Man. Uh, Bam! This one gets what a, a smooth move! In the fragrance community. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it, see if it's worth the money, see how it smells, see how it performs, see how it looks, all that good stuff. And then uh, I'll give you my recommendation on whether it is good or bad. First, let's go ahead and take a look at the presentation of the bottle itself. Don't have the box, I chucked it. My bad. And then after we take a look at the presentation of the bottle, yeah. we'll go ahead and get into the juice itself. It's like the original off the box, I guess, right? Oh, oh, I'm just playing. Um, so this is uh, obviously cringe. Back in pretty much all my original videos, I said presentation. So it would be like, we're going to check out the presentation, which is a correct way to say that. But um, I had a couple of people that left me uh, douchebag comments, and they're like, yeah, it's not presentation, it's presentation. So now uh, it's like I've almost conditioned myself to say presentation. I've given in to the douchebags, but honestly, it kind of rolls off the tongue easier, so it's okay. Um, the sprayer itself is actually pretty nice. It's uh, similar to the Dior ones. So I've noticed through these first couple videos that back in the day, the autofocus was out of control. It's like every, every time there's a movement, especially if it's anything up close here, it goes out of focus immediately. Uh, so people out there, if you're starting a channel, Make sure you at least watch like a 10 minute guide on YouTube or something about how to use your freaking camera or else you're going to end up like me or these old videos. All right, so we checked out the bottle. It's pretty nice. Uh, it will look good in your cabinet on your shelf. And the coloration here is just super orange. Like my face is almost like the color of this wood or something. Wherever you keep your fragrances, whatever, it's high quality. Good. Um, the juice itself, the top notes are citrus, lavender, and honeydew melon. Uh, oh, 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 oh! You can see the notes. You can see them right there. You see that? At the very bottom. Fail. Fail. I'm looking at them right there. Zzz, bow. Reminding myself, I'm sure. Uh, don't wanna, I don't want to leave anything out. Someone will criticize me. A mid of pink pepper and pineapple leaf. And then a base of patchouli, suede, and soft ambery woods. <laughs> At least that's how they describe it. What, maybe two to three hours. It sucks. Oh, oh burn! Oh. Got him. Um, it's not offensive. Nobody is going to smell this and be like, oh my god, what is that? that oh. oh, oh, this is great too. People always bust on me for having red ears. And look at that. In the second video, they're red, baby! I can't help it, I guess. Sometimes when the video camera comes on, the ears get red. I don't know what it is. It's not always, but I mean sometimes. It's right there. But now I've got a beanie. This is my new look. I'm like Fragboy Stewie 2.0. I'm going to throw this on on my head, cover up those ears, and then nobody's going to leave me hate comments anymore. That hurt my feelings. Not really. I actually don't care. I just delete them. They'll be like, oh, yeah, you smell okay. But uh, no one else is going to be able to smell you. It's, it's pretty much worthless. Oh, Jimmy Choo Man, pretty much worthless. Print it. I'm done with this review. Let's watch another one. All right, top 10 fall 2016 designer fragrances slash colognes. Somehow that top 10 list, worse than CK1 Gold, worse than Jimmy Choo Man, worse than Halloween Man. It's the worst top 10 list of all time. 